Gaming is one of the fastest evolving markets on the planet. Go back just 10 years and see how much the technology has changed. In this video, we take a look at the games that helped shape gaming as we know it today. The titles on this list all pioneered game mechanics and features that set them apart from the competition. Here are 10 games that were way ahead of their time. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. When Shenmue came out in the year 2000, it was the most expensive game ever made. The Sega Dreamcast title had a record-setting budget of $70 million. However, that is not the only thing gamers remember it for. Shenmue pioneered quick-time events and it was also one of the first densely packed open worlds in gaming. Oh. Oh. Damn, you're pretty tough. The fact that you could interact with almost anything blew us away back in the day. It would be years before other titles would devote so much time, effort and money into making an environment feel alive. This is cool! You gotta love the innovation Sega brought to gaming during the Dreamcast era. Hiya! Hiya, Ryo! You know my daddy? His job is baking bread! Dark Chronicle was a revolutionary RPG on the PlayStation 2. This game from 2002 combined role-playing mechanics with a building simulator. You could custom build a series of villages and townships a whopping 10 years before Minecraft made it insanely popular. The inclusion of loads of minigames and cel-shaded graphics were also pretty revolutionary at the time. Dark Chronicle even had procedurally generated dungeons. It's a shame the game isn't that well known these days as it is truly one of the most underrated games on the PlayStation 2. The original Crisis really raised the bar for computer graphics. To this day, the PC game is still used to benchmark new hardware. That's how far ahead of its time it was. No matter how much money you just spent on your new PC, Crisis made sure it would run like shit. Developer Crytek cared not one bit that only a fraction of the population could see the full potential of what they created back in 2007. To some degree, you can blame them for the obsession many gamers have with instantly buying the latest graphics cards. Crisis was definitely at the forefront of the PC Master Race movement. Most gamers think that Telltale invented the interactive story game, but it was actually developer David Cage. The visionary game designer gave us a completely new experience in the form of Fahrenheit, also known as Indigo Prophecy, on the PlayStation 2. Back in 2005, we hadn't seen a game with such direct storytelling and minimal gameplay. Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Cage was the first guy that recommended players not to actually play his titles more than once. Instead, he wanted you to live with your decisions. He has been on the bandwagon ever since, trying to perfect this formula with Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and the upcoming Detroit. You lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. We might have all been playing Tekken on the original PlayStation, but it was actually Sega that pioneered the 3D fighting game. Virtua Fighter completely blew gamers away back in 1993 as the first fully 3D fighting game. Keep in mind that Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat were still king in those days. Ready, go! <laughs> One look at Virtua Fighter though and you knew that fighting games would never be the same again. It might look primitive as hell by today's standards, but we can actually still remember the first time we saw a Virtua Fighter arcade cabinet as a kid. That's how impressive the technology was back then. Hey, oh. Oh, yeah! 
Everybody says that Gears of War started the whole cover-based shooter genre, but it was actually Kill Switch back in 2003. Sure, Operation Windback came out in 1999 and introduced the whole cover mechanic. However, Kill Switch was completely built around this mechanic, whilst also introducing blind fire. This formula was very innovative at the time, but the game wasn't a big hit. Fast forward three years and Gears of War is blowing everybody away on the brand new Xbox 360. It must suck to pioneer new ideas and seeing someone else cash in on them. We really love ragdoll physics in games. PsyOps, the MindGate Conspiracy was one of the first titles that focused its entire gameplay around it. The telekinetic powers let you pick up enemies and objects and throw them around. PsyOps gave gamers a physics-based sandbox with unlimited potential. These ideas would later be perfected in games like the Just Cause series. However, we will never forget the sheer joy and freeform gameplay of PsyOps. It's such a shame this awesome game never got a sequel. You could say that Alone in the Dark introduced survival horror to gamers back in 1992, and that Resident Evil made it popular a few years later. However, you wouldn't have Resident Evil without Sweet Home. This Famicom game from 1989 was made by Capcom developer Tokuro Fujiwara. It had all the gameplay mechanics we now consider to be part of the survival horror genre. Things like item collecting, puzzle solving, limited safe states, and a constant state of threat. When Fujiwara would team up with Shinji Mikami to make Resident Evil, they took Sweet Home as a blueprint. Even in 2017, you can still see gameplay mechanics from Sweet Home in Resident Evil 7. In the year 2000, Sega announced that it would, within the year, create a new world. In that virtual world, the internet. Console games connecting to the internet is nothing new in this day and age, but it was virtually unheard of in the year 2000. When Fantasy Star Online came out on the Dreamcast, it was a game changer. Going online was a big hassle as you would have to use dial-up internet. However, the idea of being able to play with actual people over the internet while sitting on your couch was just crazy. <laughs> This game set the stage for nearly all online console games to come. The feature really became popular with Halo 2 on the original Xbox, but we have to thank Fantasy Star Online for giving internet to us in the first place. The gaming population is the entire population of the world. Metal Gear Solid is widely hailed as an all-time classic. Game designer Hideo Kojima made the stealth game genre popular with this legendary PlayStation title. The cinematic presentation and many cutscenes showed that games could be as epic as movies in their presentation. Hold me, snake. What's wrong? Oh, oh, hurry, hurry, make love to me. Oh, snake, I want you. Who's that? You don't like girls? It also lifted the bar for voice acting with many memorable performances. Who doesn't remember the first time they heard the amazing David Hayter voice Solid Snake? All these things combined make Metal Gear Solid a title that's worth remembering. Colonel, can you hear me? Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. Which game blew you away for doing something completely new? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Snake out. Tatsuya. Do. Why so down? I think a good one is ready to come out of this capsule toy machine.